Father, they are not distracted. Thank you, Father, because they're focused. We thank you, God, for a good session today. The children will learn something that they can live on the, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of their lives, God. Thank you for the anointed and appointed teachers. They are prepared and ready to teach the word today. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for them. We encourage them. We send them off in Jesus' name to have a wonderful session in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, let's give God a praise.
they may call have impact and they may call change. They'll never be the same. They'll never be the same. When they leave here, they will never, never be the same. Make the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And I give y'all the glory, I give y'all the honor, and I give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Well, praise God, praise God, praise God. It's just good to be here. Hallelujah. Well, this morning, I want to talk to you on this subject this morning. It's work the way. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, it's worth the wait. Come on, tell them again. It's worth the wait. And let me tell them this. I don't mind waiting because it's worth the wait. Most 
of us don't like to do, and that is to wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My God. Here are some facts that I found. You know I love finding researching and finding facts. In 1960, the 1960s, some psychologists at Stanford University did a study on children learning delayed gratification with marshmallows. Each child in the experiment who was four or five years old was given one marshmallow and was told if he or she would wait until the researcher came back 15 minutes later, they would get a second marshmallow. Now, if they ate the marshmallow before the researcher came back, they would not get another marshmallow. Well, some of the children went for the immediate payout. They ate the marshmallow right away. Oh my God. Others held back and resisted for a while. But eventually they gave in. Isn't that just like some of us? Oh my God. My God. A few of the children managed to wait the entire time by holding back and distracting themselves from that cookie, puffy white tree. By singing and covering their eyes. They were determined. Praise God. These kids kept, this group kept their eyes on the prize. Praise God. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. We're going to look at it in the New International Version. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. It says, chapter 3 in the NIV. The first part, we're going to say the whole thing. Then I be there and go, praise God. It says, I press on for the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenly, heavenward in Christ Jesus. Keep your eyes on the prize, saints. Keep your eyes on the prize. As the researchers tracked these children as they grew up, what they found is that the children who could wait for the 15 minutes to get the bigger reward. They scored higher on the SAT scores. They had better social skills. They were generally more successful in life than those who did that did not have the ability to delay gratification or to win. Saints, just like it was worth the wait for those children in this experiment, it's worth the wait for us as well. When we learn to wait for the second marshmallow, we learn to wait on God's good and perfect best for our lives. The question is this morning, will you wait for the second marshmallow? Or will you eat the first one? Oh my, the choice is yours. One tree now, or two trees later. My God, the question is, will you eat the first one and not get the second one and get another one? The choice is yours. Hallelujah. Listen to this statement. Delayed gratification means you have to wait. Praise God. Listen to these folks. I like these folks. The best things in life are worth waiting for. Isn't that good? Praise God. Hallelujah. The best things in life are worth less waiting for. Listen to that gentleman. Never rush into something. Anything will happen is worth the wait. Saints, it's worth the wait this morning. Hallelujah. Some things are worth the wait. Glory to God. And I did this research, another research, on how much time on an average is spent Waiting. Statistics show that the average person spends close to an hour every day waiting on something. That's two to three years in a lifetime. Can you imagine a 
according to the Time X, a Time X survey, Americans wait on an average of 20 minutes a day for a bus or a train. This is a day. 32 minutes for the doctor and the doctor's office. Oh my. Or longer. If they're in surgery, you gotta wait. You gotta wait a little longer. 28 minutes in the security line when you travel. If you don't have a t free TSA check, you gotta wait in the line. 21 minutes for a significant other to get ready. <laughs> now, the pastor and I, I, look, I was ready. He, he did what we're taking. But he started early because it took him time. He had to do this. He had to, I'm like, Jesus, look, I'm ready. The statistics say 21 minutes for your significant other. All right. My God, that is wonderful. 13 hours annually waiting for customer service. Waiting on my own hold for customers. You hold and you hold and you hold. Sometimes I hope, hang up, call back. Yeah. You lost your place, you hold some more. Hold. 13 hours a year waiting on hold. Oh my God. 38 hours each year waiting in traffic. Oh my goodness. Can somebody attend to that? 45 over. My God. Look, if I got to go on the southwest side of town, I go before three o'clock. After three, that's it. Traffic, traffic, traffic. We spend we spend thirty-eight hours a year waiting in traffic. City commuters, big city, the average person waits more fifty hours and waiting in traffic. Fifty hours. Listen to these st statistics. Americans annually wait about. 37 billion hours each year of waiting, waiting in line. Oh my God, that's according to the New York Times. 37 billion hours each year waiting in line. Human beings spend approximately six months of their lives waiting in line for something. Aren't these statistics amazing? Through our experiences, though our experiences are different, we all face seasons of waiting at some point in our lives. These Bible verses came to mind as I was thinking about waiting. Psalm 25, verse 5. Psalm 25, verse 5. We're going to look at the last part of that verse. Psalm 25, verse 5. Praise God. Yes. It says, On thee do I wait all the day. All day I wait on the Lord. Psalm 27, verse 14. Psalm 27, verse. These are some scriptures on waiting that came to mind. Psalm 27, verse 14. It said, Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait. I say on the Lord. Praise God. It's all about waiting, saints. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalm 37, verse 7. Psalm 37, verse 7, the first part of that verse. Psalm 37, verse 7. Praise God. Praise God. The first part, it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. How do we have to wait? Patiently. For him. Now go down to the 34th verse, that same chapter. Psalm 37, verse 34. The first part of that verse. Verse 34. It says, Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. Woo! Isn't that good? Yeah. Glory to God. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 22. Proverbs. Chapter 20, verse 22, the last part of that verse. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 20, verse 22. Praise God. But wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Who when you wait on the Lord, he'll save you. He shall save you. Praise God. Lamentation. Lamentation. Chapter 3, verse 25. Lamentation. Chapter 3. Verse 5. 25. Chapter 
verse 25. We're going to look at the first part of that verse. It says, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him.
to me, Dr. Honey, it was more than 15 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. He did not wait. No, I'm not waiting. Hey, God, but these are things we wait for. Here we go again, waiting on hold for the comfort of the service. That one, I know all of you have experienced on hold for the comfort of the service. Most of us are waiting for something in the fight of our likes or dislikes for waiting. But if you wait upon the Lord, it's one to wait. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, give an example of people in the Bible where waiting on the Lord turned out to be worth the waiting. Let's talk about several. First one of Abraham. Everybody knows about Abraham. Abraham had a promise from God that his wife Sarah, in her old age, would bear a son. Well, from the time God promised him that, established that covenant with Abraham, until Isaac was born, they had to wait 25 years. Woo, that's a long time. 25 years. Sarah eventually, she eventually gave birth to Isaac. You can read about that in Genesis chapter 21, verses 1 through 3. It was wait, worth the wait for Abraham. It's worth the wait for you. It's worth the wait for you and me. Hallelujah. Praise God. The second one is Daniel. You can read about the story of Daniel in chapter 9, Daniel chapter 9, verses 3 through 19. It's a lot of reading, but just in this story, we're just going to summarize it. We read, we read about God's servant, Daniel. Daniel prayed fervently, 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 prayed, he prayed for, the, for the Jerusalem, for the pit, for them to be spared. Coming and all the armies were coming against it. He prayed and he prayed. He fasted and he prayed for three weeks. Daniel prayed, he prayed, and he prayed. At first, it seemed like nothing was happening. But after 21 days, Daniel received his answer. Glory to God. Daniel's prayer reached out the first day. God heard him the first day. But you know what? That was a disturbance, the taming. Glory to God. The answer was the change for 21 days. But the Lord heard his prayer from day one. And when he got the answer, it was one the way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next one we're going to talk about is Hannah. Let's turn. We're going to look at Hannah. It's in 1 Samuel, the first chapter, first and the second verses. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. I'm just going to summarize it. A man named Ethanah had two wives. One of them was Hannah. The other wife had all these children. Hannah had no children. She was poking fun at her. Man, we ain't got no children. We ain't got no children. Hannah wanted a baby so badly. For years, she went, prayed and prayed to the temple, prayed for a son, and she promised us to, promised God if she, if she had a son, she, she would dedicate him back to him. Well, she pressed in prayer fervently, year after year after year, and Hannah prayed and prayed, but she continued to pray until she got what she wanted. God honored Hannah for her diligence and for her patience. She became pregnant. And gave birth to a son, Samuel. Her waiting lasted for years, but eventually she gave birth to a son. She stayed true to her word and dedicated Samuel back to the Lord. It was worth the wait for him. Praise God. Joseph. His story is told in Genesis chapters 37 through 50. It's Joseph, for 13 years, things went from bad to worse. He was sold in slavery by his brother. Then he was thrown in prison for a crime that he did not commit. Then, he, But Joseph made every opportunity. He, he, he just took every opportunity. He just sold everywhere he went. He was elevated, elevated, elevated. He interpreted the dreams while he was in prison. 
including the cupbearer of, of Pharaoh. Well, when the cupbearer got out of prison, he forgot about Joseph. He was supposed to put a word in for Joseph. But two years later, two years had passed, and Pharaoh needed his dream uh, interpreted. Well, the cupbearer remembered Joseph. Joseph interpreted the dream for Pharaoh, and eventually Pharaoh made Joseph second in command in all of Egypt. It was worth the way for, for Joseph. Praise God. Simeon, Simeon. You can read about Simeon in this joyful story in Luke, the second chapter. You can write the little notes. You can look the second chapter. 22nd through the 38th verse. Luke chapter 2, verse 22 through 38. Simeon's whole life had been spent coming to the temple, waiting to see God's salvation and life. Simeon waited for years for the coming of the Messiah. Simeon finally saw baby Jesus. And Mary and Joseph were there. They had to go to the to the temple to do to dedicate the baby, he was able to see Jesus as a fulfillment of all those years he had been praying. And God had promised Simeon that he would fulfill his promise that he would not die before he saw the Messiah. Well, he saw Jesus. He held him in his arms, and he just could not contain his joy. Praise God! Praise God! It was worth. The way for sin. When you wait on the Lord like Abraham, Daniel, Hannah, Joseph, and Simeon, we will not be able to contain the joy that the Lord will give us as we make good on his promises to us. Saying it's worth the way. It's worth the way. Hallelujah. Waiting does not mean nothing is happening. Waiting is what happens between the promise and fulfillment. Let me say that again. Waiting is what happens in between the promise and the fulfillment. You gotta wait. Praise God. I'm reminded of the story about the bamboo plant. Oh my God. I'm just something just coming. I said, Lord, thank you. The bamboo plant has to be watered every day for five years before it starts. Five years. Well, it has to be watered every day. The gardener will only see one inch of growth despite the bamboo plant being watered every day for five years. Five years. Year one, nothing. Year two, nothing. It kept watering, kept nursing. Year three, nothing. Year four, you know what was going on? Beneath the ground. What was happening beneath the surface was the network of deep roots were growing. All these roots were growing and they were getting very wide. They were spreading out very deep to support the growth of this bamboo tree. In fact, nothing happened, I said, for the first year, second year, third year, fourth year. No sign, nothing. But the gardener kept watering, kept nurturing. Every day, every day, by the fifth year, a tiny sprout emerged from the ground. After five years, within six weeks, the plant grew 90 feet tall. Woo! If the plant did not grow its roots deep into the ground the first four years, it could not have grown 90 feet tall. The same applies to us, saints. We have to spend time, spend time, spend time in the Word of God. You've got to have your prayer time. What, what did you have? Say the upper room. you got to get to an upper room. Praise God. you got to spend time in the Word, building your foundation, silent foundation, strong foundation. Saints, is Word the way. Hallelujah. It was worth the wait for that man. Can you imagine five years? Nothing happened for five years. Ah, uh -huh. I was probably saying, uh -uh. the first year, okay. You give me another plan for this plan here. It takes too much for this plan. 
Let me get me another friend. But he was faithful. That boy was just water every year. For four years. And then that fifth year. The major thing is that even in our waiting, God is still working. Saints, even in your waiting, God is still working. That's because if you see God working, doesn't mean he's not working behind the scenes. He's doing some things. Yo, you might not see it. You might not see it. might not see it. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. But God is working. Working. Wait. It doesn't mean that you just sit around and do nothing. When we're told to work, wait, it simply means that we should be placing our trust in God. Jesus. Jesus. My trust lies in you. Jesus, oh yeah, 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 Jesus, mama, my trust lies in you. Hallelujah. You got to trust him. Glory to God. You got to trust him. Hallelujah. Praise God. For Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Oh, I caught on that for oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lead not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. You gotta trust God. Oh, you gotta trust God. Yeah. You gotta trust God. I tell you what, when you feel to do, trust God. Yeah. When you don't see a way out, trust God. So then you come up, you just gotta trust God. Be encouraged to know that God is working in your times of waiting. The how is God's responsibility. Our part is to rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. That is according to, we read that earlier, Psalm 37, verse 7. Wait on the Lord. Praise God. But as we wait upon the Lord, we start to see that things that the Lord will provide for those who patiently Patiently wait for him. It's hard, praise God, to wait. Sometimes waiting is difficult. It's difficult. I'm telling you, sometimes you want to make it a cake. Okay, you ready for the cake? Come on out. Keep looking at it. I'll get that little two piece put in there. And stuff come out. It's still not clean. I said, oh, okay. One time I made a, a, a pound cake, and I never made one of those before. And I said, what is wrong with this? Lady? Put the thing in there and the seal with me. I said, oh, man. Praise God. Praise God. But in my time of waiting, when that cake came out, it was big. I said, Lord, I think it was what? We did this. It was right the way it's saying. Waiting on the Lord is acting of, is the act of not relying on your own understanding, but instead rely on God. In all your ways, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. Lean not to your own understanding. Waiting on God is all about trusting Him and knowing that He will bring you through yeah. every time. He'll bring you through if you wait on Him. You gotta wait. You gotta wait on Him. You may be waiting on God right now. Somebody may be waiting on God right now. You may be waiting on God and you don't know how much longer you can hold on. You feel like giving up. Mm. You wonder if your prayers are a waste of time because God has not answered the prayer yet. So send it. God, we need my healing. We going to get my healing, Lord. Wait on the Lord, send it. Wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It's worth the wait. If you can just wait, glory to God, glory to God. Yes, you've been waiting for months or years and on the inside you feel like I just want to give up waiting can be difficult I tell you again waiting can but no matter how difficult it is it's what 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 the way praise God praise God some saints it might take a day it might take a week it might take a month or even a year or it might even take longer but it's worth the waiting. If we can just wait on the Lord. Things you've 
been waiting on about to break forth in your life. Do you receive that? Things that you've been waiting on, Mr. Brenda, need to be prepared. Things you've been waiting on, it's about to break forth. Things that we can just wait. We can just wait. Just wait. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. We have to wait whether we like it or not. It's worth the wait. If we learn to wait on the Lord, we will see him do great things. Saints, it's worth the wait. Selena, God, it's worth the wait. Hallelujah. Waiting on God for a good report from the doctor. It's worth the wait. Waiting for your healing. It's worth the wait. Waiting for God. It's worth the wait. Waiting for your finances, bills to be paid. It's worth the wait. Waiting for a spouse. Ooh, my God. It's worth the wait. Waiting for your marriage to be healed. It's worth the wait. Waiting to graduate. It's worth the wait. Waiting to see a loved one say, Jesus, 
Today is a good day for the Lord. Today is a good day to know him. If you're not saved, praise God. I want you to pray this prayer with me this morning. You can all recite it. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. I'm sorry for my sin. I believe you died for my sins and you rose from the dead. According to Romans 10 and 9, thou shalt confess with thy mouth the, the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Jesus, I confess my, my, with my mouth and I believe with my heart, in my heart, that you died and you rose from the dead. I invite you to come into my heart and I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. By faith, I am saved. Woo! Glory to God, you praise that prayer, praise God. Welcome to the family. Glory to God, welcome to the family. You're in a backslidden condition. Today is a good day to come back to the fold. Hallelujah. Just turn around. Just repent. Repent means turn around. Just turn around and come back. Praise God. Come back to the fold. Welcome back to the fold. Hallelujah. If you would like to become a part of this ministry, if you're here or you're watching us by, by the internet or by, by the streaming, if you're watching, if you would like to become a part of this ministry, I invite you to become a part of this ministry. It's a good church. Glory to God. You ain't never been saved. Hey, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We would love to have you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Well, while we're standing, if anybody has, let's say we're going to have a corporate prayer, pray for the needs. If you have any prayer needs, you know, right where you are, there's no discipline around with the spirit. God is here. He's here. Don't you feel the presence of the Lord in this place? Praise God, praise God, praise God. So if you have any prayer needs, right where you are, praise God, whether it's for healing, for finances, deliverance, or whatever your need is, just put your hand on your wherever. And you ask me, put your hand, girl, healing to you. In the word of healing to you in Jesus' name, glory to God. Whatever your needs are this morning. God, we pray this corporate prayer. Like I said earlier, there's no difference in the realm of the Spirit. Father, I thank you for meeting every need in this, this place. Whatever the needs are, somebody needs healing in their body, Father. I send that word of healing to them in the name of Jesus, Father. Touch their bodies, God. Where they hurt, touch their bodies where they, they need healing, God. In the name of Jesus, I send that word of healing. To them, Father, they need help, God. Thank you, Father, for favor and that gold interviews, God. Favor, favor, favor. Thank these people, God, that can't help it. They gotta hire them, Lord. Thank you for favor. Their finances, Father. There's no lack to no one household in this place. Every need met. Every need met. No lack in no one's household this morning. Whatever you short, God can make up the difference. Hallelujah. God, thank you for making up the difference this morning. Whatever their needs are in finance area, Lord, I thank you that their finances are restored. Thank you, God, for more than enough. Father, giving them more than enough, more than they, than they can ever imagine or think in their wildest dreams, God. Lord, I just thank you. I just praise you, God, for the healing power going through this place right now. Healing in this place. Thank you for your healing power, Lord. You the healer, God. We thank you, God. When you took our infirmities and bore our sickness and by your stripes, we are healed. Those that need healing this morning by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. I send the word to you. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the free flow of the Spirit. I call all these prayer needs done, God. You heard them, Lord. You heard them. I don't have to know. You heard them, God. And I thank you that it's done, 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 done. In Jesus' name, thank you for it, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. Glory to God. Give us the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, it's time to give. Woo! Glory to God. Get your offerings ready. Praise God. You may be seated. Get your 
always ready, the urchins are readily available to serve you. You need an offering envelope. Praise God, they're willing and ready to serve you. And I just want to remind you that you can you can give on the app, give the five. You can give on PayPal or you can put it in the mailbox. We receive. Praise God. Praise God. And I want to thank you for your faithfulness to give. Thank God you bought faithfulness. Praise God. If you need an envelope, everybody ready? You'd like to offer you ready? Praise God. Praise God. Well, all right. Well, let's receive. Let's receive. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. I put my arms around all of you this morning. I can't hug and love you like I want to, but here we go. 
Come on. Mm, I love you. 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 I appreciate you. Oh, thank you for your presence this morning. Praise God. We honor God this morning. Thank you for your presence. Praise God. And this this uh, month is clergy month. I want to bless our clergy. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Sister Shonia, wave your hand. These are our ministers. Sister yeah. Shonia. Evelyn Washington, she's not minister with us this morning. Minister Evelyn Washington, Minister Shirley Thomas, praise God, praise God. Amen. Amen. Let them know how much, and I, I appreciate them. I thank God, I really appreciate them. I thank God for them. Their blessings to me, your blessings to me. All of you ministers, your blessings to the ministry and your oh, blessings to me. And I thank you so much. We're a team. Yes. And I thank you for working with me. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, you may be seated. And the earth, oh no, before you see it, let me bless you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. May the Lord bless you. Keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, grace, mercy, peace, and the favor of God. Be multiplied unto you. And what's our mission statement? The fellowship, victorious and successful service through the application of biblical principles, thereby attaining and sustaining the divine life. I cover you all in the blood of Jesus. Psalms 91, as you go to your various homes and various places where you go to go this afternoon, I cover you in the blood of Jesus. Psalms 91, no hurt, harm. Our danger will come to you. No near misses, no accidents. You will be safe in Jesus' name as you go. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. No plague shall come now, your dwelling. No plague shall come now, your dwelling. Thousands shall fall inside, ten thousand shall rise in, but it shall not come now. You something good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 good. You're gonna happen to me today. I receive it. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Praise God. Thank you, Miss Yellow. Praise God. We want to acknowledge our visit to Sister Shimon. Amen. Charge it to my head, not my heart. Praise God. We thank you so much for visiting oh, with us this morning. Yes, Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Praise God. You will never be the same. Yes. You ever see him? If he comes to those doors for the first time, you will never be the same. I yes, sir. Man, sir. Oh, man. Never. <laughs> never. Never, never, never. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for visiting with us today. Praise God. Oh, yes. Thank you all so much for being. And our business is again 
Thank y'all so much for yeah. All right, you can't do it. Well, God, we said you can't do it. You need more help. Look, I'm trying to help every day. Every Sunday. <laughs> we need help. Praise God. And I thank God for you. Oh, you can receive that word this morning. Yes. yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 